We got tired of sitting at home during the quarantine, so we took a drive and came to Woodruff, Arizona. We all, you'll hear some funny stories on our trip. And that was stupid. Let's start over. Hi. <laughs> okay. That was Hi, we to eat. Would you talk, Ellen? Hey, everybody. Good to have you. Never mind. <laughs> Blake, would you say something? <laughs> Hi everybody, we got bored of sitting at home so we decided to go for a drive and uh, my dad mentioned going to the Woodruff Dam out here. Uh, we got a lot of rain uh, this winter so it's actually flowing so that's where we're at right now. Yep, we'll show you and you'll hear some fun stories on our way. Our country kids don't know how to dress. <laughs> we, do. we told them we were dressed like country kids. <laughs> we told them, let's go for a ride to Woodruff, and they both slipped their boots on with their shorts. Every time I see this little Colorado River and I look down there, I imagine my grandma staying up all night with the men in town as they cook the molasses and, and boil it, get all the sugar out. and and actually cook it until it became molasses. Molasses, I'll let you try it. And, and do we have it at home? Yeah, we do. And so, anyway. We have it at home because of this story. <laughs> yeah, I love molasses. Mom thinks it, it's gross, but I think it's awesome. But anyway, so that was one story. But one of my favorite stories, my grandpa, he was the postmaster and had the post office and, and then the school was right next to their house and anyway and then he would take care of, of dead bodies when people would die. You remember this story? And so this old cowboy brought his buddy into town that had died in an accident. He had laid his buddy over the horse and came all the way into town and by the time he got into town his, his body, his buddy's body was stiff you know it was bent and they unloaded the body and said you know um, Mr. Ison can you take care of this this uh, man and, and so he prepared the body but the body was so crooked that he he put some big rocks on his legs on his knees and then as he then they kind of folded him back and they put a huge rock on his chest to kind of try to straighten him out so they can put him in a casket and then he told his his teenage boys I want you boys to sleep at the school tonight I don't want anyone being silly and coming and bothering this body so my my grandma's brothers uh, stayed the night there because this is my great-grandfather that, that did this so anyway my grandmother's brothers stayed there and in the middle of the night, the, the rock slipped off of the man's chest that had died, and all of a sudden the dead body sat up. <laughs> and my grandma said that her brothers just screamed and went running out of the schoolhouse. And anyway, that's that's still a story they tell out here in Woodruff. I love this little town. When I say it's a little town, I think there's probably 150 people that live here. 
beautiful little place. So over here on the right side, we're gonna see my grandma Lamrose home that she grew up in. And her maiden name was Ison. And she grew up in this home, but it used to look a lot different. I remember it being a white home at the time and there was petrified wood all around it. But they've now taken the petrified wood fence away and, and it, so it looks a lot different than it did way back then. But then over here to the left, you can see the old schoolhouse, the one that the dead body was in that sat up in the middle of the night. And so anyway, it's just crazy to see that old schoolhouse. I think it was the schoolhouse and the church, both. Now they have it as a little community library is what they do with it. But. It is such a crazy story that would scare me to death. <laughs> Here's another funny story that I remember. My grandma didn't, they didn't have running water until she was about, I think she said 12 years old or something. And they were one of the first homes to get running water out here, but they used to have to go out to the outhouse. And there's several funny stories about the outhouse out here in Woodruff. But one of the funniest is she tells a story about her mom and so my great-grandmother and she was coming out to the outhouse one night and her daughter Martha was was sitting on the pot and it was dark and Martha instead of saying mom I'm in here she thought this is gonna be funny and grandma opened the outhouse door and started to back in because she was a little bigger she she had a hard time turning around in the outhouse so she just started to back on into the outhouse as she had pulled her, her britches down and Martha pinched grandma on the rear end and scared her to death. <laughs> and uh, anyway, my grandma used to love to tell us that story about her sister and what she had done to her mom. We're gonna go out to the Woodruff Dam. The, the really hard thing for our pioneer ancestors around here was getting water because you can see how barren it is out here and the only way they could survive was to get water on their crops. And so they tried building dams in these little settlements and, and most of the time they didn't last very well because when the monsoons would come it would just wash it out the dam. But, but we're going to actually go out here to the Woodruff Dam. I don't remember when this one was built. But because we had a heavy snowfall this winter, there's actually some water running over the dam and it'll be kind of fun just to see it. We'll see it right before sunset here. Hi everybody. We got bored of sitting at home so we decided to go for a drive. And uh, my dad mentioned going to the Woodruff Dam out here. Uh, we got a lot of rain uh, this winter so it's actually flowing. So that's where we're at right now. So the kids are going to run down there. The sun's already setting. But what a beautiful place. And the water's flowing. Like I say, that's not a lot of water, but you can water a lot of fields with consistent water like that. I will go discover the gold. Go anywhere to uncover the gold in the mountainside. Valley's wide, I will go. I'll get lost just so I can be found And I'll bring you along And we will be found this And I won't wait early or late. Well, I need to do some more research and To know if my grandpa was part of building this dam or not My great-grandfather There's my beautiful bride up there But it's just beautiful down here We'll go get some pictures of the kids down by the water. We'll discover all there is to see because we are pioneers, you and me. We'll explore and we will come alive because we are pioneers of this life. Like I told you, it's not pretty water, it's muddy water, but it's still awful pretty.
That's probably 20 feet up there. Blake just skipped a, a rock. All right. Guys, come on this other side and I'll get you skipping rocks. Okay, first one to skip one wins, but oh, Blake's right arm doesn't work, so he's trying to go that left handed. It does work. <laughs> Just out of commission. It's out of commission, it does work. All right, Casey, find a good rock. Here we go. Yeah, you say go. Okay, on your mark. Okay, we get three no, first to do it. Set, set go. Oh, Blake got it. <laughs> Casey, you went left handed too. Don't you want to go right handed? Oh, Casey three. got it. You got three? Yeah. No way. Three, Blake. I won. I'm going to show my kids how to skip the rock. I did better left handed. Okay, hey, let's try. Oh, <laughs> that was awesome. It went like right down there. <laughs> so you got like seven or something. <laughs> Looks like Vicky's right on the edge to me. I think I might fall. What a beautiful little place. So glad we came out here tonight. This is cool. This is super cool. Hey, I'm videoing you. <laughs> You're pretty handsome. Little dams, they're called diversion dams. They're not like a dam by Lake Powell that's gonna hold back a lot of water. They had to create this whole ridge of, of rock and cement just to divert the water from this little river into a little diversion right here the... and you can see right over there the head gates and stuff that they can then put water behind that rock wall and divert water and it goes into town from here so it's a cra it's crazy what the pioneers had to do just to get some water but man aren't we grateful that they paid the price search and see grim series of all okay so we came to the top of the waterfall what it looks like, Casey up there. Across. But it's not a ton of water right now. But very cool. Okay, go across, Casey. We'll discover all there is to see because we are pioneers, you and me. We'll explore and you will come alive Cause we are pioneers of this life It's your hog We'll discover all there is to see Cause we are pioneers, you are queen We'll explore and you will come alive Cause we are pioneers of this life Makes me awful proud to know that my grandparents settled in this little community and were part of making it successful and raising great kids and hopefully I can uh, leave the same legacy, raise some great kids and make my community better. Alright guys, we better get home. We came home from Woodruff and Blake had to put his horse away. This is how he jumped on. He's riding right. side saddle and eating his McDonald's in the other hand. <laughs> <laughs> nice 
shorts and boots. <laughs> he's just showing off. He's broke this horse and he's done a dang good job. The other story that I remember about an outhouse also has to do with my grandmother's sister Martha. And that is, grandma used to say that when they went out to the outhouse, they were allowed to take one match because they didn't have flashlights, but they would strike a match and they would kind of make sure there was no spiders or snakes on the toilet seat. And then they'd blow it out and then they would sit down. Well, Martha took her match out there and she lit, lit it to see and instead of blowing it out, she didn't think and she threw it down in the outhouse. Well, all the methane gas uh -oh. just ignited and ex almost an explosion and the outhouse just started burning like crazy and Martha started yelling, the outhouse is burning, the outhouse is on fire and, and the, the butte reflected or echoed her yelling that and grandma said even though it was sad they lost their outhouse she said